Hi friends, welcome to Common the Chaos Homeschool. My name is Devin, and today I'm going to be starting a mini series talking about the end of the year and how our year has gone. So today's video is going to be more of a general overview, how the year went, how our schedule went, what changes did we make throughout the year. And then I'm going to be making some videos talking about our final morning basket and what we had in it and how things went there. Final thoughts on all my kids' independent work and final thoughts on our group subjects for this year. So if you're interested in those videos, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you're notified when those new videos are up. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about a general overview of our year about our activities, about our schedule, what worked, what didn't work, what we had to change, what tweaks we made, and then just general reflection of the whole school year. So this was our second year of homeschooling. I would say the homeschooling bit was smoother, but I would say that I have gotten more tired or I've reached that kind of breaking point a little quicker this year. So I don't know if it's just because I've been homeschooling into the second year and maybe I was just pushing some other things away that I really do need to focus on. Maybe I'm going too hard, too fast with my kids. Maybe I need to just <laughs> chill a bit in the homeschooling department. Um, I do really love homeschooling my kids. I'm enjoying it so much. My mind is on homeschooling. It is. It takes up so much of my life and I really, really, love it and I have a passion for it and I'm so glad that we are doing this but it's just really hard to keep all the plates spinning. So I started this YouTube channel roughly seven months ago and so one of my first videos was our schedule, our daily schedule and what it looked like. If you're interested in seeing what that was I will link that here but I just wanted to talk about our schedule and what tweaks and changes we've had to make throughout the year. So at the beginning of the year I will say that we did not have to change our schedule a whole lot from that beginning of the year schedule. What I did have to do was I needed to be a little more specific on what we did during some parts of that schedule. So for example, one of the changes I made for this year in opposed to last year is we started this year with independent subjects for about 45 minutes to an hour of independent subjects first instead of starting with the morning basket. Also, we started our school days at 9 this year instead of like 825 like I had in the first year. So the reason for that was I have some children who take a little longer to get started in the morning. And so not only did we start the day with independent subjects so that people's moods or attitudes would not affect the whole group. Um, so we started with independent subjects and if people weren't ready for school, it wasn't going to affect everyone. So that was a good change that I made. So we did 45 minutes to an hour of independent work at the beginning of the school year. That did not change throughout the whole year. That slot has always been there. What I did have to do was I had to specify for my oldest that that was when she's going to start her math work. So she would get on the computer for 15 minutes or so and then come to the table and I had time to help her with her math work at that time. So it kind of evolved from kind of do whatever you want in the beginning and I'm working with the boys to let's do our math video, it gives her time just to sit there and listen to someone talk and teach her the concepts and then bring it over to me so I could watch her do her math there at the table while I was sort of directing the boys. So that worked out really well. We got through lots of math that way. I was able to make sure that she understood the concept before she did a whole bunch of work and didn't understand the concept. So that was a really good change that we made probably about halfway through our school year at about the same time that we introduced the good and the beautiful math. So that was a really good change. Another change that I had to make to the schedule that you might see in that first video was I needed to have more specific times to help people individually with work that they needed work with. The way I have my schedule organized, if you saw the schedule video, 
on kind of a typical day, I guess there's only a few of our, we only have a few typical days, but on a typical day, we would go, we would start with independent work. We would move into our morning basket. We would take a short recess. We would come back for group work and then we'd go into independent work or we would do something like the video from IEW for the girls while the boys worked on something or I worked with the boys on something or fix it grammar where I had to teach the girls something and then move into our independent work. So that was our schedule and that was kind of our ideal day. Then after that would be lunch and after lunch would be quiet time, a time when the girls can work on things that they can do independently, do their silent reading, the boys would just be in their rooms reading or doing something quietly. So what I had to change was I was not getting enough time with my girls who might need help in specific things that were not math. So I started implementing something called, I kind of called it office hours, <laughs> kind of like when you're in college and there's this time that's available that you can go talk to the professor if you have a problem or if you need extra help beyond what was in class. So on certain days of the week, if we weren't going out somewhere and I felt like someone needed some extra help or some people needed some extra help on some work, I would say, okay, after lunch today, we'll do a half an hour of my office hours, or I didn't exactly call that every time, but half an hour of work time where I'm available to help my kids. So if my oldest had something she wanted to work on with me there, she could bring that out. And maybe my middle son might need some extra help with something so I could work with the two of them during that time for just half an hour and then we would go into our regular quiet time. Those are really the main changes we made for the schedule. We are part of a parent partnership program so we did have a few extra classes in the first semester. First semester all my kids took a one hour class before lunch on Thursdays and then my girls did a two hour class after that and so then I just had the boys and we were just I don't know we go to the library we go to Starbucks we try to get work done while we're waiting for the girls in their class second semester I only signed up for one class and all of the kids are in a class during that time so one hour they were having classes with the parent partnership program so I reduced their class hours just to give us a little more time at home doing what we needed to do at home. That was one shift that we made. Other than that, our first semester, our parent partnership program classes were on Thursday. During this semester, they were on Wednesday. So honestly, on my Google Doc, I just took Thursday, I, Thursday schedule, I dragged it over to Wednesday and changed the name of the day and that pretty much covered my schedule. I didn't really have to change anything else I just swapped Wednesdays and Thursdays schedule. And so that schedule that I did at the beginning of the year worked very well. So coming into a new school year, there are some things that I'm still thinking about and I'm trying to figure out. I have one child who is still really struggling to get to school on time, even though we start quite late. So I'm not sure how to help that child get to school on time because that first 45 minutes or an hour is really important because that's when I am available to do one-on-one -on -one things with people. I'm not doing the morning basket. I'm not doing the group subjects. And the afternoon, like we have that one half an hour once in a while, but I do work from home. So I really, really need to keep my afternoons, the ones that are available, I need to keep them open for work. So I have some thinking to do as far as our schedule in the next school year. So yeah, that's gonna be a little bit tricky for the upcoming school year. Overall, the whole year I would say was relatively smooth, relatively successful. I feel like we did accomplish a lot. I have seen a lot of growth in all my kids in many areas, including interest in learning and a desire to learn. That has been a really nice thing, just seeing that develop in my kids. I think I did mention in another video that our first six weeks of school were amazing. And I could not say that about our first year, like our first year, the first six weeks were really, really rough. So it was really nice to just have a routine that the kids kind of understood and just, it's hard. So if you're, if you're going into your first year of homeschooling, or if you just finished your first year of homeschooling, just know that if you had a hard time at the beginning, 
it's not just you, okay? So you don't just suddenly know what you're doing and your kids know, you don't know, you don't know what you're doing yet and your kids don't quite know what you're doing yet. So, so just hopefully that's encouraging that if it was a bit rough, you will start to understand yourself and your kids and be able to figure out a rhythm that works for you. So the beginning first weeks of this school year were amazing. Then we hit kind of a rough patch and then it got better and then a rough patch and then it got better and then a rough patch. So just kind of cycling through that. I think I've realized for myself that I, I'm kind of on, I was, I was telling a friend, I'm kind of on a two month cycle where I can go for about two months and then at the end of two months, I just start to lose it. Like I just get overwhelmed. If anything extra gets added, I just can't handle it. So I'm starting to realize that this seems to be a trend. Like it happened around December. It happened again, maybe end of February. It just happened a few weeks ago. And I think a lot of that is just trying to keep everything going. We have so many things as moms so many things that we have to organize and worry about. We clean our house, we cook our meals, we are taking care of the kids all day long, we're doing homeschool, we're doing any other thing that we're doing um, inside or outside of the home. Like I said, I have a business that I work on outside of YouTube, I headed YouTube, and so it can just get really overwhelming at times. And so it's kind of like, you get to your max level and then if anything else like flits over, it's just going to knock you, <laughs> knock you down. So I just realized this, uh, just this past week, um, I actually took two days off at the beginning of this week, just took a light week. I really wanted to plow through and finish our school year. We have about three weeks left and maybe two weeks. I was looking at that today, maybe two weeks left, but I just wanted to plow through and finish off the school year. I didn't want to take it easy, but one of my kids was falling apart and I was beginning to fall apart. So this past week, I took Monday and Tuesday off from homeschooling and I pretty much told my family, I told my kids that I was going to be focusing on my work. I was going to focus on my work and I just needed to put my head down and get caught up in all those areas that I was feeling like I was getting behind in. And let me tell you, just two days to do that, I felt like I got so much done and I feel so much better. I was able to do tasks that I had just been pushing <laughs> to the background and I don't know how long I would have been pushing it if I didn't have the time to do it. So I have realized that for myself and for my business, I'm going to start taking the first Monday and Tuesday off of the month because the beginning of the month, I have a lot of tasks that I need to do in my other business. So I've decided I'm going to start taking the first Monday and Tuesday of each month off so that I can get through those things. So they're not just hanging over my head constantly, nagging me and telling me I'm not keeping up and I just feel like I'm losing control in the area of my business. So. I don't know if someone needed to hear that today, but that kind of a realization that I just made recently. So I think in December, when I started just getting a little bit stressed and kind of starting to have some breakdowns, I kind of decided to try to simplify a little bit in the second term. So that's why we went from the basically three hours of classes with our parent partnership program down to just one hour. Basically, we go to that one hour. After that, we eat lunch at our church grandpa and grandma's house, and then we come home instead of that two hours where I was sitting around with the boys trying to get them to do work, but it's also like we're not at home, so we're at the library, or we're at Starbucks, or we're going to a playground, and so really not having that time to be productive for myself, for my business to keep up. So I think that helped a little bit in the second term. It was a good idea. Though during second term, we also picked up more things. So my daughter started dance, my boy started Taekwondo. We just started adding some extracurriculars. However, those come later in the day, so it doesn't interrupt that quiet time, um, that time where I can kind of be on my own or that time when I can get things done that I just need to be able to focus on. So I think that helped, but we didn't really reduce what we were doing. We just added it in a different time. 
So that is overall what our year was like. It was kind of good and then rough and then good and then rough and usually we just really just needed a break and I just needed to take a break. I have a really hard time taking a break. I really like structure and routine and I don't like changing it. And that's not to say that every day is the same here and that we're not flexible, we are. But I just like to get things done and I like to see progress and I don't like it when we slow down. But sometimes we really just needed to slow down and take some time, just take some time off, take it easy to be able to come back and start our routine again. So overall, it was a good year. Like I said, I saw so much improvement in all of my kids in their love of learning, in the things that they wanna do in their free time, in pursuing things that they're interested in. Definitely saw a lot of growth there and I'm excited to see what's going to happen next year. So I hope you'll stick around for our adventures next year. Thank you so much for coming and listening to me ramble about how our school year went. And I hope you stick around for my kind of curriculum, end of the year curriculum updates that are coming to you soon. Thanks for coming and I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye everyone.